Okay, let's work through this problem together. A rocket shot into the air follows a parabolic flight path and returns to Earth. The height of the rocket in meters is given by h of t equals 600 plus 88.4 t minus 4.9 t squared, where t is measured in seconds. To guesstimate the instantaneous velocity of the rocket at t equals five seconds, Calculate the average velocity for each time interval indicated by the given values of t, round to two decimal places. In this example, we're only going to work with one time interval from t equals 4.9 seconds to t equals five seconds. Also, you might recall that average velocity is just the slope of the secant line over the time interval. So we need to calculate a point from the left boundary of the time interval and calculate a second point from the right boundary of the time interval so that we can find the slope of the secant line. So at t equals 4.9 seconds, we find the point by plugging 4.9 into the given height function. So we have h of 4.9 equals 600 plus 88.4 times 4.9 minus 4.9 times 4.9 squared. And this gives us h of 4.9 is equal to 915.511. And to avoid any round off error, we don't round until we're done finding the average velocity. So for our first point, we have an input value of 4.9 and an output value of 915.511. Now to determine the second point, we substitute t equals five into the height function. And this gives us h of five is equal to 600 plus 88.4 times five minus 4.9 times five squared. And plugging the right side into a calculator gives us h of five is equal to 917. So for our second point, we have an input value of five and an output value of 917. Now to calculate the average velocity, we simply calculate the slope of the secant line through these two points. So we have the average velocity, which is also m secant, is 915.511 minus 917 in the numerator, all over 4.9 minus 5 in the denominator and performing the arithmetic gives us an average velocity of 20. And typically in a handwritten problem, we would include the units. The output value is meters, so that would be meters per, and the input value is seconds, seconds. But we only need to enter the numerical value.